Once. 35. 35. 35 once. 35 <coughs> twice. Soul. Thank you. Good. 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 Tyler, what's up in there oh, still? Fuck's sake! Right. <laughs> a whole bunch more. Yeah. Sands of Destruction box set complete series. This looks kind of cool. And yeah. five bucks is this cool? Uh, destroying the world solves everything. Ten bucks. <laughs> really? Twenty ball. Twenty dollars. Twenty ballers. <laughs> what the? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Oh, I really like basketball. There is no basketball in this series. You're making a wrong choice. 20 once. What's it called? It's called Sands of Destruction, based that, on the Sega good? video game. Is that like a fucking chipmunk wearing a pirate hat? I believe it's a bear. 25. <laughs> Just for the bear. That is among the weirder second fantasies I have been exposed to at the auction. Yeah, this is yeah, true. that was last but year. Not ever, apparently. Oh, Specific one. <laughs> a desert bear wearing a pirate hat and eye patch. Jesus Christ. You didn't go to the Cards Against Humanity on Friday. You have to go no. to the Artist Alley for most of your points. <laughs> yeah. But we were at what? 25, 30? 25. 25. Do I hear 30? Sure. 30. The like, nobody's heard of this. So <laughs> I'll be the first one to watch it. 30 going once. You watch it? No, the hamster. Oh. 35 once, 35 twice. Pause there, I'm gonna read the back because that's why you're here. Please. Um, <laughs> well, thrilling new anime series, because that's why we've all heard of it. Based on the epic adventure RPG of the same name, but which we've all this heard is of. Almost also. Um, available exclusively on Nintendo DS. That's so on the back of the box, when you're trying to sell the show, if you've got enough space after talking about how awesome your show is, to mention, by the way, if you have a Nintendo DS, you can also spend more money on our shit. You may be a little thin on the ground in terms of good things to say about your show. Okay. Mort, with an E, is a lonely beauty with an axe to grind and a judge against, grudge against the world. Her brother died in the war between men and beasts, and now she's out to make everyone pay for her loss. That's where Kyrie comes in. This wandering cook may hold the key to unlocking the destruct code. A mysterious orb capable of eradicating everything in existence. I'm going to pause there. <laughs> and point out that a cook yeah. is unlikely to hold That's the phone behind. admin powers for rm-rf slash. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we saw it in Dashco and I was like, okay, I can kind of see that. I can suspend my disbelief, but ah. We need to destroy everything. Bad Find idea. the cook. Oh, no idea. <laughs> I'm just saying they could they could work a little harder yeah. on the um, the fate of the planet hangs in the balance. But these heroes would rather destroy the world than save it. Here's my guess. Hey, you know him. They get to the end of the series. They don't destroy the world. You know Tyler. But that's just me. Thirty minutes. And you're probably right. Yeah. Thirty-five. Do we hear forty? Once, twice, sold. Yes, it was. 35 for the Pirate Bear! Who, who bought the My Little Pony stuff? Little Guy and Luna. Oh, okay. Luna, 69, XX, yeah. whatever. Yeah. 69, okay. God damn it, Luna. Full Metal Alchemist, the movie, Conqueror of Shambhala, special edition. Oh, 30. Son of a... 30. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I don't have that one. 30 once. 40. <laughs> You get it? 40 once. I own it. Oh, there you go. 40 twice. That's from the crappy part. Sold for 40. Thank you. All right. Chrome Shell Regios. Part 1, episodes 1 to 12. Part 2, episodes 13 to 24. 20. 20. 30. 40. 50. 50. 50. Oh, god damn, that looks kind of badass, actually. Yeah, 60. 65. 70. 75. <laughs> Why did you let me win one? <laughs> because I don't want to. Yeah, he wants me to have an erection. 
we work together on this. <laughs> it's a conspiracy here. That's not a conspiracy. It's it's called in fact. Why do you think I record this? Great. Let me just quote from Box. Um, tomorrow's an arid wasteland. Nomadic communities. Mobile mobile domed cities. What? Fuckhead. <laughs> well, ah, the world is turning into a barren desert wasteland. Well, I'm going to use the last of my money to build a giant walking tank. Now let's just consider how much engineering has to go into building a single building. You need to now build a giant walking tank. The support structure for a giant walking tank that holds a city. A domed city that moves. You know why we build cities? We build cities because we have a lot of people in one spot. You know why we have a lot of people in one spot? Because there are resources there. Typically those resources are water. Even on a desert planet, the water doesn't move! <laughs> <laughs> well, don't bring your signs into this. Yeah, if you watch the History Channel and all those stupid how the world will end. Mutant contaminoid monsters swarm the planet's desolate surface. So you know what the good thing to do is that we don't want to bunker down. We don't want to found a city that can defend itself. We want to found a city that can run away. Because that's how humanity has always solved its problems. It's French! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> City. <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> well, shit. Someone is haunted by a violent past. I want to see an anime where it's like this guy has a violent past, which he is not haunted by. He enjoys it. And he applies the lessons he's learned to his regular everyday life in your tea shop. And then it cuts. Oh, well, I don't have money to pay 15% tip, I can only pay 10%. Cut to the man's lifeless body flying through the <laughs> smash in the ground. The police are like, if we try to arrest him, we'll die too. I want to see that. Yeah. Yeah. Why can't it just be they have a violent past and they get over it? Anyway, so um, those in his platoon accept him as one of their own because that normally doesn't happen. Hey, we're military buddies. We fought side by side and saved each other's lives. But this guy is such a freak. He has a violent past <laughs> that we earned in the military together killing things. Yep, always good. The mystery surrounding him and his amazing special combat abilities. You know what? So I do some martial sports stuff. You know how you get amazing special combat abilities? Practice sports. You fight forever. You practice forever. Five years later, you're like, I can kick the ass of anyone that's only been fighting for a year. Ten years later, you can like, I can kick the ass of anybody who's only been fighting three years and a pretty good chance against anybody who's been fighting less than ten. Twenty years later, you're like, well, I'm starting to get old, but I can kick just about everybody's ass. Special combat abilities are from practice! <laughs> <laughs> that's the one thing I liked about, uh, there's a lot of things I liked about Naruto, but Naruto was a fucked hard lame ass losing motherfucker who cheat coded his way into one special move which he used forever yep. but he says that's OB. you compare naruto in episode one to naruto in episode i don't know what the fuck before but, the end but no, not not right uh, i think yeah, 152 like, yeah or you read the manga and you just flip to the end right <laughs> and at the end at the end He's got a whole bunch of moves, right? Yep. All of which he learned through practice and hard work. He's like, I can summon a frog the size of a city. <coughs> but only after I summoned this dude who just shit talked me for like five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> right? And then I had to have like an inner turmoil moment where I almost got eaten by the, I mean, he's the hero, so obviously he's not gonna die, but yeah. like, he works hard and becomes kick-ass, right? Yeah. As opposed to, we're gonna start the story, so here's our hero. Look how incredibly fucking cool he is, but he's got a tortured past. Do you know what that is? That's terrible fucking writing. Good writing is character development. So Star Trek, I love Star Trek, but compare Star Trek yeah. to Babylon 5. You know what the main difference is? There's a lot of differences. The main difference in writing, Picard season one versus Picard season seven. The difference, Picard season seven, Red Moby Dick a lot. That's it. He's got his white whale in the Borg, and he gets really teary about it. 
in season seven. That's it, right? Some other people got promotions, but Worf season seven, Worf season one, they're the same. He changed in DS9, but Star Trek, I love Star Trek, but season one to season seven, it was not a character driven, it was not a character development show, right? Babylon five, huh. you take the cast of like beginning of season two or, the, or season one, right? Because they had some changes, right? And you go to the, what's well, called the end of season four, because season five was kind of fucked up, right? Yeah. Season yep. one, Babylon five to season four, and like, okay, here are our main characters. The captain, okay, they changed the actor in season two, but let's call it captain season two intro, season four outro. Recognizably the same character, <laughs> no. Okay, um, uh, Londo Malari, beginning of season one to the end of, no, not no. the same. Um, uh, um, crap. The, what's his name, what's guy? Jakar. Jakar, Jakar. Yeah. Bastard Jakar, beginning of season one to fuck, call it end of season two, holy shit, right? Oh yeah. So, don't get me wrong, I love Star Trek, but when I fucking get to the end of like three seasons and I haven't seen the characters, if the characters aren't different enough that I'm like, they would probably punch themselves out from three years ago, I'm like, yeah, we're done. That's why I like DS9 better than Star Trek Next Generation. Next Generation, super classic, possibly, possibly better written, depending on how you define better writing. Yeah. Probably better directed, a lot more, co a lot more coherent a lot of the time. But I prefer DS9 because Cisco in season five versus Cisco in season one. Holy shit! Right? Yeah. Anyways, where were we with? Uh, we Seventy-five for him. Yep. Seventy-five. Going once, going twice, sold. Um, Eden of the East Blu-ray. Twenty. Twenty. Yeah. Going once. What is it? Eden of the East Blu-ray. Twenty. Twenty-five. Nah. Twenty-five once. Twenty-five twice. Sold for twenty-five. Should have got it. It's a complete mindfuck. Why were you thinking it's about to happen? The opposite does. I, 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 I've seen it before. Huh. So I have a limit for how much you spend in physical media. It's 14A. It's called MM exclamation mark. Complete collection, 12 episodes, two DVDs. Let me to read the back. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Is that something good? The, at no point they appear to stop making sexual in you. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> That's the reason. Five dollars. Sado has just realized that he likes being made miserable. <laughs> Sado? Seriously? Sado? The fuck? Which, knowing that only makes him more miserable, which in turn, desperate to break the circle, um, he volunteers for a special club where he hopes he can work through his issues, only to discover the other members have equally complex issues. The hyper-aggressive club president has a violent fear of cats and believes really herself bad. to be a god. <laughs> you know is terrified of men. The nurse forces other people to perform cosplay. Wait, what? Hayama's nice. best, Hayama, Sado's best friend, is a compulsive cross-dresser, is also the girl that Sado is infatuated with. Cross? Um, uh. Blah, blah. It's pronounced Emu Emu, the complete collection. Oh. Five bucks. Five. Ten. Ten. Fifteen. Fifteen. Twenty. Twenty. Twenty-five. Twenty-five. Thirty. Yeah. Thirty once. Thirty twice. Sold for thirty. It's kind of wrong that that is the least disturbing masturbatory material that we're selling today. That is true. That is very true. Yeah. Well, unless we count this, Slayer's Revolution, thirteen episodes, two DVDs. Thirty. Season four and five box set. Sorry. Revolution and Evolution R. Yeah. As it goes, Revolution. So I've got thirty. Evolution, I think. Forty. Forty. 50. 50. Oh. Yeah, no. 50 once. 50 twice. 55. Five. Yeah. 55 once. 55 twice. Soul for 55. You want something? Woo! Mm. Fuck. 
Clannad. Oh god. Oh no, oh, no, god no, damn no, no, it. no, 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 no. I love it. No. I love it. She's giving me the guys, blah blah blah, this Yuri, blah blah blah, that uh Yahweh, blah blah blah, also this incredibly weird sexual fetish one, blah blah blah, Clannad. No. I'd rather burn it. Collections one and two. Um, 26 total here. episodes. The Course of Love doesn't always run true. Uh, it's season two. Um, blah, blah, blah. Oh my god, his little sister. <laughs> yeah. Is this from Clown? Um, no. It's, it's from Sentai. It is the anime of an H game. Yeah. One of the more well known H games. It's very Japanese. Blah, blah, every story, not every story ends with a happily ever after, Dark Cloud is building it on does. the horizon, long way. Nice. So I have some friends, so the seminary I went to had an attached Bible college, and I have some friends that are in that Bible college. Good friends, they're decent people. There's a couple of girls who are really into anime, which is totally cool, and I occasionally give them advice and chose to watch. The last two series that they got really excited about because they enjoyed the uh, romance, and the art, and the airy feelings. The last, so I need to, these are Bible college girls. Mm. <laughs> so just think of any, any Mormons you know that haven't like left the Mormon church yet, the way those girls act, so like very innocent sort of, right? The last two series they've been talking about on Facebook have been Air oh. and Clannad. God damn it. And I just, I'm trying to like, do I tell them? Because it would be really funny. It would. It would be hilarious. Or do I not tell them so they keep posting on Facebook? <laughs> Which would be really funny. Yeah. Because in five years, they don't watch. Um, trust me, 